Hey folks, welcome back to the You Want Pizzazz channel. Today I'm giving away free caption templates in Premiere Pro and I'm going to teach you how to use it. All right, let's dive right into it. The first step is to download the captions template in the description below. Once you've done that, go ahead and open up your Premiere Pro project. I'm not sure if all of you know this, but you can actually open multiple Premiere files at the same time. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go to File, Open Project, and I'm gonna find the captions template. And I'm gonna open it. And it should open up in your project panel. Now, if you don't see this for some reason, you can go to Window, Project, and you can make sure that the captions template is open. If we open up these tabs here, you'll see that we have a couple different options. I have yellow captions and white captions, but you can also make the captions whatever color you want. I'm going to go with yellow captions, which I find is pretty good for standing out on many different backgrounds. My video resolution is 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna select this one. Just gonna double click it to open it. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this caption file and I can do that by selecting it and hitting Command C and then making sure that the second layer is selected here and pasting it by hitting Command V and for PC users that's Control C and Control V. This is how it looks so far. Great thing is that we can adjust the appearance but first off let's just align it with our voice over here. So I'm gonna click my text tool here and select this and then change that to what I'm saying here. And I can go ahead and move that up by going into effect controls and just moving the positioning up like this. If I wanna move on to the next one, I can just make a cut here. On most keyboards that is Command K for Mac and Control K for PC users. Okay, so that looks pretty good, but you can see that it doesn't really stand out on the background that well. Luckily, we can fix that by going into the effect controls panel. I said before that you can adjust the positioning using this. If we scroll down to the size, we actually have to highlight the text first and adjust the size that way. You can also adjust things like bolding, italics. You can make it all caps. You can make it underlined. There's a few different options here we can adjust the appearance here. If you click the fill color, you can adjust the color to whatever you want. Stroke, if you click that, I already have it preset to eight, but you can also adjust the size like that. You can make it five if you want it a little less intense. Do whatever works for you. Background, it kind of gives a slight background layer behind the text to help it stand out more. You can adjust the color of the background. You can adjust the opacity. You can round the corners here. You can make it bigger. So there's a lot of options with the background here. And then we have a shadow, which helps the text stand out a little more. So I think I'm gonna go with a background shadow combo. I think that looks pretty good. And I'm just going to apply that onto all of the different captions. I would actually recommend doing this first, adjusting the settings to how you like it and then creating the captions so that you're not adding it to every single caption file, but luckily in this case, we only have three different caption files here. And that's pretty much it, folks. I hope you can use this template in your next video editing project. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the You Want Pizzazz channel for more videos. Are there any other templates you would like me to make? Please let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to take a look at that. Thanks so much and have a great day, folks.